Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we're talking about the Steel Series Arctis Nova 7 Wireless. This is the, uh, the PC version. Um, I do have an Xbox, but I think the dongle is larger. That's something I didn't see people talk about, but the, that looks like a smaller dongle to me, I believe. So we're gonna find out, because I'm worried about how it's gonna fit in things, and that's, uh, we've got our Steam Deck here we wanna attach it to, and I actually already got this dongle from Anchor that uh, I think I can fit the dongles or the adapters for both my wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, and the wireless headset all in one, which that's the dream. Um, while also adding an HDMI port and power pass through. So that is exciting. I want to figure out a way to like attach it to the back or something. And there we go. We're upside down, of course. So, empty box. They've got this like foldable creature thing that I might bring to the arcade. Headsets in a nice little protective pouch. tabs on it, protective layer. It's kind of weird. I guess you have to remove the thing to remove that. And there's a thing in here. Important, download for chat mix, PC only. tab for the microphone, which really curls. Oh yeah, because it curls into the, that makes sense. Now where's the dongle at? See, I thought the dongle would like nest in it or just be attached to the USB-C port on it or something. All right, so I guess we gotta pull these off for up and around. All right. I don't like how they feel. I like the knobs in these two versus like the low quality ones because I mean, so the reason that we're getting these today, the Razer, uh, I forget what these are, the, I don't know. Whatever old Razer wireless headset I had is no longer a headset because its entire upper plate was just these two pieces of plastic that connected. And this center thing is just the head cushion, which is also super fragile. And I actually like have a replacement, no name brand one that also broke that I super glued to the first one to make it work. But anyway, this eventually just straight up snapped and now it still works. The wires are connected. It just uh, isn't very comfortable anymore. Um, so, I guess the whole point of the name Steel Series is that I suppose that's steel. This is like a flexible metal. It can't be steel, but flexible metal or whatever. So that should not snap in the same manner and apparently is pretty, pretty durable. I'm bad at this and, you know, didn't film it, but uh, so I just pulled out the last few things in the box. Here's the actual dongle I want to talk about. And uh, it comes with three separate cables. We've got just an aux cable, aux to aux, and USB-A to C extender so that you can attach this to a USB-A port, and a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging the actual headset. I'll probably just use my own random chargers around, and rather than this method, 
I would rather use the method I've been using with my keyboard. So instead of having that guy in there, actually this isn't the right one. I didn't. Uh... Oh yeah, I have. In this case, for the Steam Deck, I got this little extender that came with the kill switch case that's on it so that it can fit despite the case being on there. And that looks really silly, but we're gonna slim it down with the future uh, setup. Uh, but I do have a different, much better cable elsewhere that's just a little dongle that um, does A to C so that we can connect it in a small thing. So heads it just clicked when uh, I plugged that in. And um, let's see, I was watching. Well, here's some other guy's review of this headset I was watching. But I found that if I put the head back on the third right notch, place yet. as high as possible, then adjusted the arm length to where it was most comfortable, it was always... Yeah, five, six, seven, and we're off. So I just wanted to show this dongle. It is large. That's something I don't feel people address. You know, you gotta. Whenever you do these things, you're gonna be setting up your own setup, and you gotta make sure it's gonna connect to your stuff the way that you want. So, like, as I said, I want to connect a dongle like that for my keyboard, as well as one for my mouse, as well as one for my headset. And while both the mouse and the headset can connect over Bluetooth, um, meaning I could just connect my keyboard. Um, I want to have the higher quality of, you know, 2.4 gigahertz on both the mouse and the headset, so I gotta, like, pick and choose, which, again, is why I got this little dongle here, um, and I also got a little special weird backpack kind of case for the, um, Steam Deck that has some of the same ports, but not all the ports, not the USB-C port we need for the headset, so it's, it's debatable as to what I want to do on how to attach things, but this is uh, the, um, Anchor 332, uh, five and a one with four K HDMI. Um, meaning I've got two USB A ports for both the mouse and keyboard, and then a USB C port as well as a USB C power pass through, which most things just have power and not a USB C data port. Um, and it's got an HDMI port, so I could connect it to the TV. Um, but the USB C port, this particular dock, I thought from the images, I guess we're going to find out. Um, I thought would be wide enough between the ports that you could actually fit this thing, which again is pretty wide and it's not a great design. Why can't they make, they gotta make a small thing. Um, I think that'll fit on this. And then I also got a right angle connector um, from everyone's favorite JSOFs that I am hoping I can make it a little more streamlined to attach this to that. Uh, but as I said, I also got this little like backpack thing that would replace the case and everything, but it's kind of just a cool concept and I wanted to see that. So maybe we'll make a little video about that too. Um, I guess let's get into it. This, uh, I meant to only get one of these and I was like, maybe I'll return this, maybe not. And I guess we want to open it and see. I want the full experience. working on. So here's the anchor thing. So let's just find out right there. Beautiful. So that was the plan. We have clearance on the HDMI port and the USB-C in port. Making that thing. And then keyboard, plug it in there, and the mouse does not have its dongle in it, so we can't manage the last dongle. So that was the whole plan, is I just wanted a way to connect all of those things to that thing and still be able to give it power and video out is kind of kind of handy, although really USB and more USB-C. I don't mind 
using an adapter for HDMI, what, like I could have that saying at the TV and just plug in a USB-C port, but having some flexibility of more USB-C ports is always nice. Uh, but you need enough USB-A for, you know, you just need to have your right, whatever your mix of dongles is that you need. But this gives me my mouse, my keyboard, and my headset. And let's find out how it goes. I don't think it's done. Power in. There's like a status LED on this guy. And we're off to the races now. I have that. I have, uh, yeah, I can use the keyboard. And this is... We're all set. Hell yes, now we have everything. If only they had like nice little ports you could just slap all your dongles in and and hide them. That'd be so nice. But in theory, I was hoping I might find a way. Yeah, look at that. I thought the size might be right. Heck yeah. Look how closely that matches the size of this kickstand. So if we just strap those together, it can live on the kickstand and the wire goes up. And the last part of today's video, um, the little adapter from JSOX. And I'd actually like to see more of these kind of adapters. I don't, I'd like to see them at, with some more angles. They're always like right angles. I'd like to see a 30 degree angle. Oh, heck yeah, that's smaller than I thought it was going to be. The question is, is the thing deep enough that it can fit in the case? That was the real goal. Oh, these tiny little... And there we go. And the point here... I think so be able to have a more streamlined setup. We just got to find a way to tuck this nicely. I was hoping this wire would be long enough. Yeah, that works. It's not amazing, but it works. I guess if it settles like that. I mean, the, the heat exhausting on it could be a problem. I was wondering, let's see as well how it goes with what if we go like that? Now we're blocking our power button, but it sits a whole lot nicer. Hmm. And yeah, that's not really of using the bumper even if you're reaching far. Yeah, having this be all an integrated small thing, or ideally like, I don't know, this pointing that way would be perfect in this situation. But yeah, that's the setup. Now we're all set with Again, two USB A's, USB C, uh, HDMI, and power pass through. And I gotta test the power pass through as well. I'm curious. That was something I was seeing with a little Apple multi port adapter. Um, the power pass through on it wouldn't. It was cutting my things with too much power, and the Steam Deck wasn't really charging as a result. Um, so. We'll see how that goes with this thing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all.